In less than three months, the novel coronavirus has claimed over a thousand lives, with over 73,000 people feared to be infected. Despite the heightened fears and call for immediate in intervention, the world might have to wait a year or more to get a vaccine that could protect everyone. Wendy Lai has been finding out why. There is a global race by drug makers to finding a vaccine for the deadly novel coronavirus now known as COVID-19. Over 73,000 people have so far been infected by the virus. Over 1,800 people so far have also died. The waits for the vaccine, according to some experts, will take between 12 to 18 months. Professor William Kwabna Ampofu, the head of the virology department at Noguchi Memorial Institute for Medical Research, says though the world may be urgently waiting on a vaccine, the process of making vaccines is a strenuous one. The least time for developing a vaccine is usually, you know, five to ten years. And initial uh, investments can range anything above 50 million US dollars. So this is a public health emergency. I can imagine that Chinese companies are also, you know, uh, are striving to develop a vaccine. The COVID-19, since its outbreak, has overtaken the SARS virus, pushing the World Health Organization to declare it a global emergency late January. To produce the vaccine, you take the virus, okay? And the virus can grow in the human being. So we study the virus and we look at the parts that it uses to grow in the human being. And then make an artificial version of it so that it can be inside a human being, but it cannot grow. That way, the human system will recognize that virus as foreign, we call it an antigen, and this elicits an immune response from the body, and then produce an effective response against it. Although there have been some successes chalked, patients, according to reports, are giving a cocktail of antiviral drugs that seem to be working for some. There are some reports that some of these antiviral agents that are used for HIV, AIDS, have been effective for some of the patients with coronavirus. The fear of contracting the virus has had a tremendous effect on the Chinese economy. What factors have contributed to the 12 to 18 months production of the vaccines as compared to the Ebola outbreak? If you look at the, the economics of scale, okay, so if you're producing a vaccine for a million people, you're producing a vaccine for a billion people. There's a big difference, okay? So you will recover your investment. And there's also the issue of uh, public health uh, uh, good. The fear of spread is very real.